In this video, we'll be working on hypothesis testing for one sample mean. And this time, we'll be going for a problem which uses student's t distribution. For that, we would go for a t test of mean. Okay, so let's head over to the question. The National Institutes of Standards and Technology provides exact data on conductivity properties of materials. Following our conductivity measurements for 11 randomly selected pieces of particular type of glass. So this is the data, right? There are 11. Okay, so uh, just list this data in Microsoft Excel. Okay, let's do that and find out the mean. So mean is 1.04. So let me write that down. Standard deviation, we know the formula equals to SDDEV and array the data set I mean 0 0.65 okay so that looks fine and it is saying is there convincing evidence that the average conductivity of this type of glass is greater than one use a significance level of 0 0.05 assume the population is normal first of all let us state the null and alternative hypothesis for this one here it is simply saying that is there convincing evidence that the average conductivity of this type of glass is greater than one so average means <coughs> mu is greater than one and that's the question now opposite of this one is less than or equals to one this quantity this expression which involves equality sign it goes for it is the null hypothesis so write that down mu is less than or equals to one is the null hypothesis and of course this contradictory statement is alternative hypothesis so we can write down this as average conductivity is at most one or this is average conductivity is more than one and you can clearly realize here also that uh, if you look at this alternative hypothesis this will give you the kind of test or kind of tail that we are looking for so if this is the distribution then uh, you may want to think that this is the shaded portion that we are going after okay number two what kind of distribution that we would go for okay so the sample size is n equals to 11 and we know that no population mean and no population standard deviation is given so that's why we need to go for students t distribution okay? okay due to this fact we will just go for students t distribution okay <clears throat> now uh, we know that for this sample means for this sample mu x bar is simply mu x bar is 1.04 and the st sample standard deviation is 0 0.0658 of course this distribution x bar it describes the uh, conductivity of the glass <coughs> alpha equals 0 0.05 is the five percent significance and we want the p-value so what is this p-value p-value let me denote it by p so this is probability of x bar is greater than 1.04 the average or the mean of uh, this one mean of um, this uh, sample distribution okay mean of the sample distribution that is given okay so let's go for this one let's try to figure out what is this so here <coughs> we would like to go to the same this one okay this website and go for t test of a mean t test of a mean since we are using the students t distribution null hypothesis is one <coughs> okay it correlates with that one okay and greater than one is the alternative hypothesis so that's fine mean is 1.04 uh, sample standard deviation is 0 0.0658 let us write that down <coughs> okay and n equals to 1 11 so this is t test of a mean right standard error is this much 0 0.0199 degrees of freedom is 10 the t test statistic is 2.0137 the p value is 0 0.0359 so p is 
approximately 3.59 percent is and here you can clearly realize that alpha is greater than p value or simply we can say that the p value is less than alpha so it has some significance in it since alpha is greater than p value since alpha was 5 percent and p value was 3.59 percent so we reject the null hypothesis so let us write that down so we reject null hypothesis okay that's it now the conclusion for five percent significance level since that's five percent right enough or significant or sufficient enough evidence to state that the average conductivity conductivity of the glasses of the glass is greater than one so that's our conclusion okay i hope this helps thank you